Hi, this is Matthew Strait from Strait Real Estate Solutions. Are you a seller that wants to sell and take advantage of this incredible seller's market, but your number one concern is, hey, once I get my home under agreement, where am I gonna move to? It's an absolutely legitimate concern. Most of our sellers wanna sell because they wanna either uh, increase their square footage or maybe they want a better location, but it's very typical to sell and buy the same day. Lately, because the inventory is so low, sellers are naturally concerned about being homeless. They know that they can sell in a matter of few days, but where are they gonna move to? It's an absolutely legitimate concern in question. And today, I wanna to talk to you about what the SRS team does to position our sellers to take advantage of this incredible seller's market and also find the home they're looking for. So, lately what we have been doing is we have been negotiating with our buyers what is called a use and occupancy. Now, I'm gonna give you an example. I had a seller that was um, purchasing new construction. They needed about 60 days for the project to be completed. What we did is we negotiated with the buyer that we were going to close on their home, but my sellers were going to remain in the home for about two months. It's called a use and occupancy. It's a wonderful, wonderful alternative to uh, avoiding the stress of trying to close and buy on the same day and also avoiding the crazy bidding wars. And I'll tell you why. What it does is it positions our sellers to close on their home, remain in their home, and have the funds available to make a fantastic offer. More importantly, that offer is no longer subject to them selling. See, when you make an offer and there's multiple, multiple offers, it's very typical for the seller to take the best, easiest, and cleanest offer. And typically what that means is they try to stay away from the offer that is subject to selling. Why? Well, transactions do fall apart sometimes. And when choosing the best offer, you either want to choose a cash offer or you want to choose an offer that has 20 or 30% down. You want to choose the strongest offer. And unfortunately, when making an offer subject to selling in this market, it's very difficult for that offer to get accepted, which is why we're encouraging use and occupancy. Now, we always encourage our clients to consult with their attorney so they truly understand the ramifications of what a use and occupancy means. But I gotta tell you, it really is positioning our sellers to take advantage of this incredible seller's market, maximize the profits in their home, and it gives them some breathing room and time to find the home of their dreams and be financially positioned to win that bidding war. For all your real estate needs, check us out at srshouses.com.